सम पीपल आर बायर्स नो बायर इज मार्केट सम मार्केट्स आर नॉट मॉल्स एंड ओनली टू कंक्लूजन गिवन टू राइट सम मॉल्स आर बायर्स सम बायर्स आर नॉट मॉल्स सो लेट इज ड्रॉ द बेसिक डायग्राम फर्स्ट सम पीपल आर बायर्स सो पीपल बायर्स नेक्स्ट नो बायर इज मार्केट नो बायर इज मार्केट so these two will not touch each other no buyer is market and some markets are not malls remember this is some not type of statement right some markets are not malls i'll say this is market mk the some markets are not malls let's say this is ml so some markets are not malls means outside markets are not malls remember the for some a's are b's some a's are b's and some a's are not b in both the cases the basic diagram is drawn is drawn in the same way right this is a and this is b the difference is for the first one we refer to this region this shaded region right some a's are b's you getting it and for the second one some a's are not b's we refer to this region some a's are not b's you have to understand right if you look at this diagram you should know that when we say some a's are b's we are referring to this completely shaded region here and when we say some a's are not b's we are referring to the external region of a which is not overlapped with b so here again when he says some markets are not malls which region are we talking about some markets are not malls these outside markets we are saying that these markets are not malls okay don't look at the diagram and get confused that some markets are malls see some markets are not malls does not mean that some markets are malls are you able to follow you need to you know re, you know go back and uh, refer to the syllogisms Uh, video right the basic concepts there right the statements and their direct conclusions some a's are not b's what is the definite conclusion for some a's are not b's there is no definite conclusion right if some of you are thinking that some markets are not malls means that some markets are malls you are wrong right some markets are not malls does not mean that some markets are malls this region may not be there also are you able to follow this is a possible this is a basic diagram what we have done is a basic diagram what is the possible way of drawing it let me draw the possible diagram here what's the possible way of drawing this diagram some people are buyers this is anyway straight no no problem with this no buyer is market no buyer is market you can draw like this no buyer is market then he says some markets are not malls we can draw malls in this way also nothing wrong some markets are not malls are able to follow even this is correct even this diagram is correct it follows the given statements right some markets are not malls i can say all these markets are not malls all these markets are not malls yes or no so the point that i'm trying to make is some markets are not malls does not mean that some markets have to be malls you getting it they may be malls some markets may be malls may not be malls okay so keep that in mind while you're answering uh, questions involving some is or not these types of statements okay now look at the conclusions the first conclusion some malls are buyers always refer to the basic diagram right first refer to the basic diagram some malls are buyers some malls are buyers now in the basic diagram itself malls and buyers do not overlap right in the basic diagram itself you find that malls and buyers do not overlap and you very well know that if a conclusion does not follow the basic diagram it is wrong so i can say conclusion number 1 is wrong some malls are not buyers these malls are not buyers okay sorry some some malls are buyers is wrong because in the basic diagram itself malls and buyers do not overlap he saying some malls are buyers no malls are not buyers hence conclusion 1 is wrong look at conclusion 2 some buyers are not malls some buyers are not malls now if you look at the basic diagram some buyers are not malls is actually correct i can say all these buyers are not malls are you able to follow the statement the conclusion says some buyers are not malls we can choose these buyers i can say these buyers are not malls i can say this section of buyers is not malls this section of buyers is not malls this section of buyers is not malls so the point is some buyers are not malls satisfies the basic diagram yes or no some buyers are not malls satisfies the basic diagram clear some buyers are so a statement a conclusion when satisfies the basic diagram can we mark it as true no remember when a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram you have to check the possible diagrams if it doesn't satisfy the basic diagram it is definitely wrong like what we have seen in conclusion 1 but in conclusion 2 it satisfies the basic diagram some buyers are not malls is satisfied here so when a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram check the possible diagrams now check this possible diagram some buyers are not malls even here it satisfies i can say these buyers are not malls or these buyers are not malls or these buyers are not malls right some buyers are not malls all the buyers are not malls is a different story i can don't get confused that all the buyers are not malls why are you saying some buyers are not malls i can always choose some of these buyers and say that see these are not malls getting it so some buyers are not malls satisfies this basic diagram satisfies the possible diagram 
but again is it true no you have to ensure that it satisfies all the possible diagrams so possible diagram one it satisfies let me draw a possible diagram two let me draw another diagram for this one and see if it satisfies or not <coughs> first statement some people are buyers some people are buyers no buyer is market no buyer is market right and last statement some markets are not malls some markets are not malls now some markets are not malls can i uh, draw markets uh, so some markets are not malls can i can i draw malls like this anything wrong in drawing malls like this ml these are malls are you able to follow see the point is what did we do in possible diagram 1 we have not overlapped malls with markets and we have you know understood that some markets are not malls is satisfied here is yes, no in possible diagram 1 when you do not overlap markets and malls you find that yes some markets are not malls is correct now instead of drawing malls here what i am doing is i am overlapping with buyers fully i can draw malls like this even then the statements have been followed right no statement has been violated some markets are not malls yes these markets are not malls some markets are not malls. these markets are not malls but in this process of possible diagram 2 you find that all the buyers are becoming malls and if all the buyers are malls can we say some buyers are not malls tell me one buyer which is not mall here all the buyers are malls all the buyers are malls now the moment all buyers become mall some buyers are not malls becomes false so this is wrong again understand conclusion to satisfy the basic diagram it satisfied the first possible diagram but it did not satisfy the second possible diagram That is the reason it is wrong because a conclusion is true. A definite conclusion is true if and only if it satisfies all the diagrams. So one does not satisfy the basic diagram itself. Two does not satisfy one of the possible diagrams. So neither one nor two follows. Option four is the answer. No win is trophy. All trophies are cups. All cups are prizes. And the conclusion, the only conclusion that we have here is all cups can never be win. So what do we do? Draw the basic diagram first of all, right? So no win is trophy. No win is trophy. So let us assume this is win, and trophy is this. So these two cannot cross each other, right? So these two cannot overlap with each other, right? Win and trophies. Now all trophies are cups. All the trophies are cups, and all cups are prizes. All the cups are prizes. So this is the basic diagram for the given statements, right? What we have drawn here is the basic diagram for the given statements. No win is trophy. All trophies are cups, and all the cups are prizes. Now look at the conclusion. The conclusion is about all cups can never be win all cups can never be win now we have to find out whether it follows or not see all cups can never be win never means what throughout i mean it's like a definite conclusion you are you are able to follow all cups can never be win this is basically a definite conclusion type i mean if your confusion is about possibility conclusion or definite conclusion let me make it clear that this is a definite conclusion because he is stating it he is clearly stating that all cups can never be win all cups can never be win now we have to check whether it follows or not now see what happens what happens if all cups are made win if all the cups go inside win what happens can all the cups go inside win basically that's the question can all the cups go inside win no all the cups cannot go inside win why see if you take all the cups inside win these uh, trophies will also go inside win basically all the trophies are inside cups all the trophies are inside cups so if you try and take all the cups inside win these trophies will also go inside win but we very clearly know from the statements that wins and trophies should not cross each other so the moment you try to take all the cups inside win trophies will also go inside win and it violates the statements so the point is all the cups can never be win is true some cups can be wins some cups can be wins right these outside cups which are not trophies can be wins but all the cups cannot be wins because if all the cups become win trophies will also become win which is not allowed so all cups can never be win is true yes or no this is a true conclusion right or we can say the conclusion follows so the given conclusion follows the given set of statements I hope all of you have understood this clearly. There's nothing complex about it. Just understand that the given conclusion is a definite type. It's a definite conclusion, so you have to make sure that it follows each and every diagram. And we have very clearly seen that it follows. It would follow all the diagram because all the cups. If you try to make win, the T's will also become win. The trophies will also become win. So all cups can never be win.